Hi everybody and welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have something, it just, I just get excited looking at it. It's stainless steel, it looks high tech, and check out this display. <laughs> it's beautiful. I've never used this product before, but I'm excited to try it. And sadly, we don't get to do that today. I know, it's, uh, it's, kind, of, it's kind of a tease, but today, this, oh, I should introduce it. This is the Yashi Food Dehydrator. And the reason why we can't test this today is because I'm making jerky. I am making candied bacon jerky and some kind of a, I think a beef bulgogi beef jerky. And I have to marinate it first. So this is just an introduction. We are going to marinate it and then tomorrow, we get to actually use this product. But before we do that, I just, I just wanna, I have to show you in, on the inside too. Look at this thing. 10 trays. This has got 850 watts, 360 degree air circulation. So you don't have to rotate the trays like you do with lesser brands. There are 10 convenient presets and you can see that from the display here but you can customize it to whatever you want from 95 degrees to 165 degrees and that depends upon what you're trying to dry and you can dry it from 1 to 48 hours that'll cover everything and this thing will make uh, food of course but it makes jerky herbs meat fruit and dog treats and you can control whatever you want to put in it so that's nice Although I think most of the stuff that uh, I'm using in, um, in my marinade is full of unknowns anyway, but you don't have to do that. Oh, and it comes with this recipe book that gives you all kinds of jerkies and fruits and whatever to try. So very exciting. And sadly, let me just put this away just for, just for a few minutes for you. For me, it'll be half a day, but I'm going to put this away. We'll get to making the marinade and get this process rolling. Very, very excited. This is so cool. Be right back. The meat is ready for the refrigerator. I need to marinate this for 12 hours. Beef bulgogi, candied, spicy, sweet bacon, whatever the thing was called. We will come back tomorrow and put it in this glorious machine and hopefully turn it into something delicious. See you in a bit. Welcome back to day two of my Yashi food dehydrator demonstration. I just pulled the bacon and the steak out of the refrigerator. They were supposed to marinate for overnight to 12 hours. I got busy with my day job. They've actually been in there for 24 hours. This is the candied sweet and spicy bacon. This is the beef bulgogi. I'm going to open these bags, arrange them in the trays, and put them in. As you can see, there are 10 trays in this model of the Yashi Food Dehydrator. I don't think I'll need them all, but maybe I will. You get 10 of these trays. They are made of wire mesh. There is also a drip tray in the bottom of this, which I think will be important because both of these are very messy. In theory, I should probably only do one of these at a time but I don't want to wait. My strategy is going to be to put the beef bulgogi on the bottom and the candied sweet and spicy bacon on top of that because I think if the beef bulgogi gets drippings from the bacon, it'll only make it taste better. I don't want to do it the other way around. Let's see if I can figure this out without having read the manual. I'm just going to shut the door here and plug it in. Hit the power button and there's chicken, tomato, mushroom, beef. I am going to hit the beef button and is there a start? It says 160 degrees for six hours. 
that's what I expected based on what I did read in the book. So we'll see what happens. Let's see, it's almost six o'clock. <laughs> Do I want to come back at midnight to show you what? We'll see. No promises. But in theory, this will be done around midnight. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It is just after midnight. I'm trying to keep my voice down because my wife is sleeping upstairs. But the jerky is done, or at least six hours have passed. So let's see what happened. This is the candied bacon. And we'll grab one of the beef bulgogi. Look at that. It looks like it's done. The it looks it like the the beef jerky looks like beef jerky is dry. It's it's definitely a lot smaller and thinner than it was when it went in. I'm impressed. I didn't think there's any way this would ever be done in six hours, but obviously it is. The the jerky is tender, chewy, sweet, um, delicious. Well, the bacon just tastes like bacon. <laughs> it's it's basically a it's it's a candied bacon. It is it's not crumbly like you might expect uh, a cooked bacon to be, but um, it's very good. I, I think you're gonna to have to keep both of these in the refrigerator. There are no preservatives or anything. Else. The Yashi Food Dehydrator is an impressive product. It is beautiful. I love the LCD display. Clearly it works and it works quickly. I had I, 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 the last dehydrator I bought was, I think I bought in the 80s, or maybe the 90s. And uh, it, took, it took days. It, it would have taken at least two days to produce this. Uh, this is, uh, this is like, this is a miracle product. Uh, I didn't have to rotate the trays. I, I did nothing. I turned the power on chose the beef setting and hit go and that's it everything it just took care of everything all by itself shut off automatically when it was done this uh, this is an impressive product and it's stainless steel it's just a, a beautiful design I forgot to mention how easy cleanup is all the trays are dishwasher safe and since the spacers are within the machine itself they all fit in the dishwasher in one load I love it. I'm very curious now about making uh, things like fruit leather or maybe, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna to have to go through this recipe book now and and see what else this thing can do. But uh, that's, that's for another day. I'm gonna go back to bed. Uh, this is obviously a five out of five product. Thanks for stopping by.